Welcome back to the 2019 World Series of Poker. Today is Friday the 28th of June and thanks to our sponsors 888 Poker, I'm here to update you with events that are finishing, events that are starting, events that are halfway through. I mean, you know the drill by now. Right, let's do it. 228 players will return for day two of the $1,500 Omaha Mix event. Yesterday saw 717 players enter this event and some familiar faces that are returning today include bracelet winners Jeff Lissandro and 2013 WSOP main event champion Ryan Reese. This event also sees recent Monster Stack final tableist Bart Hansen coming into the day as one of the chip leaders. The $400 Colossus continues today as both starting flights are now combining together for day two. There are a Colossal 13,109 entries into this event, with 1,948 players returning today. Both day one flights were played down until they just reached the money, so we expect the pace to be very fast at the start, with lots of short stacks flying around. First place has now been confirmed to be $450,000, which is a pretty incredible score for the lowest buy-in WSOP event this summer. The $10,000 Raz event is due to play down to the final six today. Chris Ferguson comes into the final 12 as the chip leader, and he will be looking to win his seventh bracelet, as well as the $300,000 up top. In fact, from the remaining 12 players, there are only two that do not have a bracelet. Between these 12 players, they actually have an incredible 26 WSOP bracelets, so the competition is still extremely tough. Daniel Negranu, Scott Seaver and reigning champion Calvin Anderson are all still in with a chance at adding some WSOP jewellery to their cabinet. The prestigious $50,000 Players' Championship event would find its winner today. Five days ago, 74 players started in this event, but now only six players remain that will return to battle it out for the bracelet and first place prize, which is $1.1 million. Josh Arier is leading the final six, which also includes Sean Deeb and Dan Jungleman Cates. According to Joey Ingram, if Jungle Man wins this event, then he will take a photo with Joey and 75 beautiful women. Now, if Jungle Man's last video is anything to go by, then I'm sure this will probably be one of the most famous bracelet winner's photos of all time. The $600 deep stack will find its winner today, with just five people returning to take their seats. Over 6,000 players entered this event in one single day, which saw players playing literally anywhere there was space in the Rio. Even Daniel Negreanu found himself playing in El Burrow, in which he spent the best part of a level trying to locate. The only remaining bracelet winner in this event is Will Givens, who is actually also the chip leader coming into the final table. Givens won his bracelet back in 2014 in a $1,000 No Limit Hold'em event, and if he were to win this, it would be his biggest cash at just shy of $400,000, as well as a main event seat that the WSOP have added on as an extra prize. The $10,000 Pot Limit Omaha High Low 8 or Better event begins today. Last year saw 237 players enter, with Phil Galfon taking down his third bracelet and the first place prize of $567,788. With today being a fairly quiet day for larger buy-ins, we expect this field to have lots of big names taking their seat. The $888 Crazy 8s event also kicks off today. Day 1A is already underway, with Day 1B actually starting later this afternoon. There will be two more starting flights over the next couple of days, so we are expecting another big turnout for this event. Last year's event had 8,597 players, with Galen Hall taking down his first bracelet and $888,888 for his efforts. With two flights of the Crazy Eights tournament today and a huge Colossus Day 2, we are expecting another busy day here at the 2019 World Series of Poker. I'm Oliver Biles for PokerNews.com.